We have as our guest, Dr. Surfer Dude, Peter Kraft from Boston College, professor of philosophy, author of well over 70 books, specifically two or three or four on surfing. Professor Kraft, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here. It is just so great to talk to you. Uh, how's the surf up there? Is it pretty cold? Are you in Boston today? I'm in Boston. It's pretty cold. I'm not a heroic surfer, dude. I only have a, a, a thin wetsuit for, for spring and fall, not a thick one for winter. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. And I want to ask you uh, the questions every atheist asks. Um, I think one of the big questions he has is, uh, I, if I can't see it, in an, I, don't, I don't want to believe in anything I can't see under a microscope. Uh, so he's, I guess... Well, then he better not believe in himself. <laughs> so go for it. Let, because how, how big is the self and what color is it and what shape is it? And, and can you see the self in a microscope? You know you can't because you're looking at it. The one thing you can't ever see in a microscope is the one who's looking at it. Wow. And then you and then you think that's about like, that's like the one thing you can't ever put an image of on the movie screen is the projector. That's the source of the light that's behind all the images. And you think so about if 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 he believes that he's, he he can't believe in anything that he can't see. He can't believe that he exists. There's just those molecules in his brain. That's all. There's nobody behind it. It's like a computer without a programmer. And you say, oh, well, that's why it's there, because each link is holding another link up. But why is the whole chain there? Uh, unless somebody's holding the first link, unless somebody's perched on top of a, of a tall building, let's say, uh, and holding the whole chain, uh, the whole chain doesn't exist. Well, existence itself is like that chain. So there must be some being that exists eternally and doesn't need to depend on anything else to get it from uh, from that something else. And that's one of the attributes of God. I mean, that's not yet a proof of a personal God, but it's enough to refute atheism. Yeah, it may make you a theist, but there, you can't be a polytheist because behind polytheism there has to be that one ultimate right. cause. And God is both right. God is both existence and essence. And you can't... You can't give something you don't have, and you can't exactly. you can't be something bigger. You can't have more power than what power has been transmitted to you. We're talking with Doctor Peter Kraft. Well, according according to the man whose reputation is the most intelligent man in the world, you can. Stephen Hawking once asked uh, why there is a Big Bang and there's no Big Bang. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.